Welcome back to the Scrapyard, guys. Rodtronic here, and we are back with another deck highlight video. Today, the featured location is Bifrost. The Bifrost, after turn four, moves every card to the right, so we're seeing a lot of move decks. Teching in a card like Killmonger here, and you'll see this in the last video. You should, you should definitely stay around to watch the last game. You should see the Killmonger play we managed to pull off. Core of this deck is your basic move package. You have multiple man. When this moves, add a copy to the old location. If you're looking to buff multiple man using the likes of Forge, using the likes of Hulk Buster, and then Heimdall is going to be your finisher to move everything again. Now, the other cards in here to help you out are Cloak to potentially move things around a little bit more. You also have Vulture, which benefits from buffs and move. You use Doctor Strange to pull your biggest cards, and hopefully your biggest cards when you play Doctor Strange is a buffed multiple man or a buffed Vulture. Other cards that you'll notice here that actually get huge benefit from playing against move decks are the likes of Dagger and Craven. Craven more specifically because he gets buffed when a card moves here. This gets plus two power. So if your opponent starts moving cards around, your Craven will also get bigger as well. Dagger can pull off some huge value. If you move her into a lane with four cards, she's now a two nine which is massive. Iron Fist is there as well to help you push around cards that like moving, like Vulture and Multiple Man, as I said. And then to round out the game, you have America Chavez, which helps you not only be a good finisher, you'll see her help us win a few games, but she also helps us more reliably draw the other cards in her deck. As always, if you like this video and you tried out the deck, let me know in the comments below and hit that like button. And subscribe if you want to see more Marvel Snap content. All right, catch you in the next one. Bye. So immediately we've got the Iron Fist Craven. Craven needs to, when a card moves here, get plus two power. So I think, oh, there's a lot I could do here. Well, actually we're just we're shuffling on turn three. Um, so we want to take multiple man and move it left. I think starting on the right, like you tend to want to start on the right hand side and then and then move stuff left. So let's play. Let's play Iron Fist here for now. I mean, I don't want to put him on a location that we regret later. Oh, on reveal effects. Oh, that's good to know. So then obviously we want a multiple man. We've also got Vulture as well, which is great. Craven might actually be the play though, because Craven gets huge when stuff moves to his location. Oh, Forge. Forge into... Oh, cards can't be move oh okay uh we so next turn we would love to draw do we just play vulture i think we play vulture and then we put crave in middle because then stuff can move to the middle part of it oh, okay so they've got a massive vulture now but they might struggle unless they've got <laughs> the problem now is if they have if they have Doctor Strange, we're in trouble here. There's our Doctor Strange. Wow, imagine we had to play Vulture left. Do I put Craven here just to I feel like Craven and then I dagger. You see I, I can pull stuff with Doctor Strange. Ah, there's his Doctor Strange. Okay, so we... Unless they want to use Heimdall next turn. So unreveal stuff doesn't happen. So I'm trying to think what we want to do here. What actually moves? So Dagger won't actually move if we play Heimdall on the left-hand side. That's going to be a problem for us. We don't actually want to use. I think I. Forge no, because Forge will block that location up. So we've we've pretty much lost right. There's not a huge amount we can do. Okay, the Vision is a great pack. She's a great addition to this deck. I hadn't really thought about Vision. And then Heimdall will move multiple man and Craven. Now they can't just move Vision across. I'm gonna let it ride. We're only playing for two cubes, so if they snap, we retreat. Well, we've hit end turn now. So let's just see what happens. What would he like to do? He'd like to move it. He'd like to move it. Everything to the left. So 
So Heimdall's going to bring multiple man and Craven. Craven gets when a card moves here, this gets plus two power. So that'll just be plus six. I think that goes to six. So that's six and three is an extra nine. Okay, so he's moved vision there. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. Hulk poster doesn't happen. Cloak doesn't happen. I think we're okay. I think we win here. Vulture is going to get big. Multiple men gets big. Oh, we actually do win. I can't believe we won that. That is crazy, considering the great setup he had over here. Okay, so we get our Bifrost game. Excellent. Things we want to see. Uh, Forge. We've got... Yeah, it, it's hard. Oh, it's Dara JN. Oh, look who it is. It's Dara JN. Oh, now we definitely want to make stuff massive here. I think we want a massive forge into a vulture. I think I put forge over here. We make a nice big... Now, they might actually turn off the boy Frost. He might... He's a smart guy. He might just be saying, hey, let's... Oh, can't play cards here. Okay. Uh, well, we need to play vulture. Craven on on here as well after turn two will be nice polaris okay okay actually not the end of the world gives us one extra card that will move right wait now hold on a second we could we could pull off some shenanigans here if we want we can craven and then Cloak, actually. No, 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 no. Oh, hold on. We nearly made a mistake there. So Craven goes here, and then Cloak goes here. I think is the play. Now, I wonder what shenanigans... Oh, that's actually really good. So I can't play anything there turn five. Now, everything does move, if I'm correct. I mean, it, it should move. Yeah, everything does move. And then Craven gets massive. Forge gets massive. Now, I can't play anything there turn 5, so they could just lock it all down. We have 25 power, that's amazing. Uh, next thing we want to do... Now, we've got to be careful here. Like, we can move stuff away if we want, but we probably don't want to do that. We want to make sure that the Nexus stays nice and big. So, I'm trying to think what's the, the best play here. Uh, we don't trigger first, so... Killmonger plays. Maybe we just... Iron Fist Hulkbuster. We're probably not playing Heimdall middle this turn. I mean, there's nothing else we can do. We probably just end up playing America Chavez on the Nexus last turn. There's not a huge amount else we can do. I'm going to snap on this. Like, he probably retreats. He's a smart guy. Um, Or I get absolutely... Like, he, he, there was a reason he played Spider-Man on the middle. So he wanted to do something turn five. You know, it could be an arrow play, which might screw me over altogether. I'm really curious to see what he's playing here. Two cards on turn five. Sp M Miles Morales, okay. And then Nycro. Oh, okay, so then they can he, he can he can trigger this again if he needs to, which is fine. But I think think I'm far enough ahead here that it won't matter. I think. What's his final play here? Maybe Arrow. Okay, he's playing two cards. Oh, I forgot Iron Fist would do that. No. No. The Juggernaut plays anyway. Oh. The Juggernaut would have killed me as well. Wow, what a final play. I, I actually love that play. That's really smart. Time to Heimdall in hands. Cloak and Craven. So we've got some good move stuff. Dagger, when this moves. Okay, so Dagger is, is a card we have yet to really pull off. I'm trying to think what else we want to do. Maybe maybe we just play Craven on the left. Might end up moving stuff across. Let's just, we have to play something, I feel. Okay, Craven's not bad. We ultimately want to move stuff left, so I think we're, we're good hedging our bets here. Uh, okay, we get some move shenanigans. 
Hulk Buster is no good right now. Are we potentially... We could just get some get some value off dagger. Like he gets plus two powers, so becomes a two three. We would like more value off dagger. Let's be fair. Maybe we just Hulk Buster on Craven for now. I mean, I think that's a pretty weak play. Oh, I'm really glad we didn't play anything middle. Um, well, there's there's two really hard hitting cards that that are annoying for us. We might play Cloak this turn. Oh, well, we're not playing Cloak now. Turn four. Oh, I think we multiple, man. I think we multiple, man, right. Jessica Jones. I think we've, we've basically lost middle, unfortunately. Oh, okay. So Cloak. Let me think about this. So Cloak here. Dagger here. It's just the turn six play what we want to do could be the issue. How do we like close it out? What other like I'm pretty sure we can win on left, so we just gotta make sure that we're doing this correctly. Cloak could go there. Cloak and dagger combo. I like it. Um we also want to So I think I play cloak here and dagger here. Because this way, Dagger might get to trigger twice, if we're lucky. Now, they might just lock down the location. Okay, White Tiger is fine. So, they, I think they're basically giving up. Ooh, it's a hard one. They could also have a sneaky Heimdall in their hands. Okay. So, Dagger. Craven, Multiple Man. Dagger. Okay, move please. So I think we're gonna get some big power here. Really don't know how much we're gonna get though. That's gonna get two. Um so what what are we on now? Baseline stats. Three and three is six plus six is twelve. Craven's gonna get an extra four, so that's gonna go to sixteen. Multiple man. Dagger will also get plus two power for each card your opponent's. That's going to be eight. So it's 14 and eight is 22. I actually think we win here. Now it's a question of where do we win elsewhere? We could kill Munger and Vulture to like secure the win here. But I think I think Chavez here is just the play. If they play Odin here, that jumps. There's a seven there. So that's a nine. So realistically, I think this is going to be a tie on two locations. Okay, we're already dominating here. Oh, I forgot that multiple man would stay. Nice. Wow, I can't believe we pulled that off. And I really wish we should have snapped. <laughs> I wish my math was better and we would have snapped. Okay, so we have by frost, which is good. Now, how do we go about this? We don't re like we really need to draw. Or if we play Forge now, we like absolutely need to draw our. We need to draw a multiple man. We need to, we need to draw all our move targets basically. So I think I just play Forge. I think I have to play Forge. I might actually play Forge on the left here, just not to clog up. The space is on the two leftmost locations on the middle and on Bifrost and Monster Metropolis. Oh, I have to hit end turn, I suppose. That would that would that would be a good play. Alright, we're on a wing and a prayer. Come on, give us a move target. Give us a target, a card that we want to move. Okay, dagger is fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Um we could just Hulkbuster as well, but I don't think that's the play. I think Dagger could be really good. Everything's going to move right again. Not this turn, but the next turn. So potentially we could get multiple procs on Dagger. Dagger. 
Problem is, yeah, playing Iron Fist now is it make, doesn't make me feel good. It does not make me feel good. So what we can do now is... Oh no, I made a mistake. I forgot that everything would move. Oh, I made a huge mistake. I made a huge mistake. Now, it's not the end of the world because we can use Cloak to move stuff around. Uh, next turn, we can... Oh, I, I honestly don't know. This one just feels a bit weird to me. I, I think I've misplayed this, but I just want to keep going. Lockjaw, okay, that's fine. Craven will get a proc of there. That's fine by me. Now what we can do is... We can actually use Cloak. Oh, Multiple Man. Cloak and Multiple Man are actually really good here. I'm actually going to snap on this. I feel like... I feel like the likes of Dagger and Craven are going to get quite big here. We just have to be careful where the Heimdall play goes. We also have to remember that Multiple Man leaves behind a 3-drop. We, we keep making that mistake. They might also just play um, Doctor, uh, uh, Doctor Professor X. Oh no, they didn't do that. Okay. So now we do that. Do we, where, where do we like really, really want to get the biggest power? You see, Craven's going to end up over there. It's really like, hopefully it's Dagger I want to leave so that Dagger gets to stay on this location here. Uh, actually, unfortunately, that's not what's going to happen because it'll be Forge and Ninja move. So I'm actually going to move Forge and Ninja over, over here. So that we guarantee... Hmm. So they want to play some Lockjaw plays, no doubt. But how big does Lockjaw get? We also have to remember that there will be a multiple man on this side. So I think I actually leave it like this. Dracula's going to discard some stuff. So... Like, left is pretty weak. Left is pretty weak, so it's like right and mid are where we need to be. Maybe I should have left Forge on the on the right there. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Okay, so they're moving stuff around. Okay, so they've basically given up on left, which is fine for me. Because we just win on left. And then, in theory, Dagger gets quite big and Craven gets quite big. I don't know if they can chase me here. Unless... Yeah, Lockjaw could get some high rolls, obviously. Captain Marvel... Oh, the huge plays. Oh, we take it down anyway. Yes. Victory. Come on. Wow, this deck is actually winning me cues. I can't believe that. Oh, no. <laughs> Fisk Tower is not what you want to see with the move deck. Unfortunately, we could be we could be done for here. We're not playing Heimdall on our last turn anyway. When a card moves, oh, and Strange Academy. This is probably, this is probably up there with two of the worst locations uh, you could possibly want. Uh, I think I forge into Multiple Man, sure. Okay, well, at least they got rid of Strange Academy. So, what I think we're doing here is we're playing multiple man. Now, this it will slide right, so do we start on right? We could start on right, use Doctor Strange to pull it across to and it'll also go to Bifrost as well. This is this is bonkers. We're actually playing it back to front here. Oh, they're they've Wait. they've uh, Okay. Okay. I still think we're in a good spot, though, to be honest with you. I still think we're in a good spot. We're, we're playing move back to front here. We're playing it left to right, which is not normally the plays. Uh, that's going to go to eight. Uh, I'm not snapping just yet. Let's just see what they play. Okay, Iceman. Uh, oh, Killmonger is... Oh, the, the Cosmo play is sick. Cosmo play is, is really good for them. 
Is there any way, though, we manage to... We pull this off. Yeah, those, those two, unfortunately, really didn't, didn't help us out. We could cloak and vulture here. We, we, like, I'm not giving up on this yet. I'm not giving up on this. Just the fact that they're on Jotunheim keeps moving down for them. Uh, turn 5 and arrow play could wreck me here if they're running arrow. Shang-Chi, okay. Interesting one. Now, we obviously go multiple man. Vulture. And then do we just America Chavez then? Uh, there's nothing else I can think of. Like Hulkbuster, Killmonger, potentially, but I, I don't think it needs to be done. Like that can just come across as well. Like we've pretty much lost here. So it's it's really on left is where the, the big play is supposed to be. But I suppose we have five, six, plus nine, we're on 15. What are they playing middle? What is going on, everybody? They're playing Hulk. Massive. <laughs> wow, I cannot believe this deck is winning. I mean, of course I believe this deck is winning. All right, kill a gore, killing gore. He likes to move it. I'm sure he likes to move it. Oh, cloning vats on Human Torch could be massive here. What else do we want? Oh, here we go. We could get multiple... Multiple Cravens. So this will be turn two. This will be turn three. Turn four, we might... Dagger. Oh my god, they're snapping. I, I think we're... We're actually going to have massive plays here as well, to be fair. You see, Craven's going to get big. We can Vulture. This is going to be weird. This is going to be absolutely wacky, this game. Hulk Buster. Okay, so that doubles. That's that's really big as well for them. I, I, I appreciate what they're doing. Um, Vulture's going to get big. Do we want to play another? Do we want to play Craven and Dagger here? You see, multiple man could also be the play. I think Craven and multiple man are the play here, to be honest. We'll then end up with... Yeah, this is going to be fucking monkers. Oh my god, how is this... Okay, so they've got another human torch. Wow, the human torches are going to get crazy. Multiple man. I have two Cravens, obviously. The thing with Atlantis, though, is though I can pretty much take it down. Like, two Cravens, Vulture. Yeah, my... I think my Cravens actually take it because the two of them are getting huge. Yeah. Wow, they're... they're the Cravens are going bananas here. <laughs> oh, no, we actually lose! <laughs> that's nuts uh the, the problem is human torch is going to get massive again we could put another crave in here oh my god we've got killmonger i've just realized we've got killmonger i've just realized we've got killmonger um What's plus five? Okay, so we can win with just one card on this side here. Three and five is eight, so we'll take down that, but we oh we gotta be careful. The multiple man will be three and five is eight, so we need a, a bigger card, like a Hulk Buster potentially. Uh yeah, like on our turn six then is something like a vulture. Um yeah, oh my god. I feel bad for this guy. I feel bad for this guy. Like we're not we're not moving anything. 
And I think we just we just play massive cards. Yeah, this is the game, folks. Oh my god, the Killmonger tech is unreal! Come on. Do whatever you gotta do, pal. <laughs> oh no, I feel bad for him. Now, there is an element. I'm trying to think what they, they would they have a tech armor or something like that in there? I, I seriously doubt you put an armor in that deck. But the Killmonger tech is huge. Absolutely huge. This is going to be... This is... This is... Oh, God. Killing Gore. Oh, I like to move it. He likes to move it. We like to move it. Okay. What's he thinking? He's thinking, like, why did I snap back? Where, where does he want to play? He want, if he has a Heimdall, probably plays it here, maybe? Okay, there's the big moves. All the big moves. Let's go. Huge stuff. Craven gets massive as well. What I'm think. Oh, we might actually lose on left. But I think we just win everywhere else. We definitely win mid. It's just a case of, yeah, the 224 costs are just gone. Um, oh, bad for him. Oh my god, I feel so bad. <laughs> Insert maniacal laughter. Oh, that's amazing. All right. 